Most people think that it's the barista that has the most influence over how your coffee tastes, but it's actually the roaster. They can make or break your brew by just doing a single bad roast. So what happens when you pit five professional roasters against each other using the exact same green bean? Oh, and wait, there's a twist because none of us knew what coffee we were using. If you stick around, I'll show you exactly what happened. Let's check it out. I couldn't do this without my partners in crime, Nathan and Zoe. Two of the best experts in the industry. So first we have to observe the coffee, smell the seeds, see if they give us any clues about what we're working with and the origin, the processing of the coffee. It's quite a grassy sort of smell there. It looks and smells almost like a, a semi-washed Ethiopian. Well, we're working on the IMF. It's a 15 kilo roaster. We're gonna do a half batch. We've got seven kilos of it to play around with. So I trust that we can bash this out first time, and let's get to it. Here's our roast profile. I recorded it as we were doing it. And you can see we're using a template, which is another Ethiopian yoga chef that we roast in our online store. And so what this graph shows you is the temperature of the beans and the drum or the environment. So when you drop those seeds in, it cools down very rapidly. And here you can see the turning point. This is where the temperature starts to head back up towards that first crack and it's very nicely tracking, and I think we have nailed it in terms of the origin here. It's definitely an Ethiopian. And the coffee turned out perfectly. Very, very close to our other yoga chef, so we knew we were on the right track. Now, what we have to do is figure out the best recipe to have this on milk. This next part is extra hard because we aren't dialing in the espresso for our Seneso MVP Hydra. We have to try and find the best recipe for a San Remo racer, which doesn't have some of the features that I'm used to. Luckily enough, my girl Zoe, head barista, was able to figure it out. And we settled on a recipe of 22.5 grams in, 2.6 second pre-infusion, volume out at 45.5 grams, over a 27 second extraction. Now that we've settled on that recipe, we have to send the kilo over to the coffee commune for them to replicate it on their San Remo. And we got to get ready for the cupping event. This is presenting to all of the industry experts our findings, what we guessed to be the origin of the coffee, the processing, any notes that we had during the roast and during extraction, our preferred recipes. It was pretty nerve wracking because then after this, they all start to vote on our coffees. I just wanna say a shout out to Ray and to Jesse and to, us and to the entire coffee commune because this is fantastic. I love this event. Like, this is something that I've never done before. I've never, not really into competitions, but when Ray told me about the blind roast, I thought, great, this is for my YouTube channel. It's a content thing, so if you want to check it out afterwards, you can see the whole process on YouTube. My name's Ride, like ride a bike. Don't say rid, that is very offensive to me. But uh, yes, yeah, so I own Coffee Beans Delivered and another cafe called Grounds of Origin as well. But yeah, I'd like to say thank you to the team as well, um, Nate and Zoe, who are my head guys that helped us come up with this um, coffee. And uh, yeah, I'll take you through some of the things that we discovered. So upon looking at it, it, it looked very much like the yoga chef that we had on hand. Comparing them to the side, we thought, okay, we're gonna use that as our 
template to roast. And we thought because of the small amount of defects in there, it's probably a two or a three grade. Uh, there wasn't many, just a bit of insect damage and like a couple of Quakers and unripe ones. But we thought, yeah, we'll start with that. And we thought the process was natural. So it was really interesting to see the two people before us. There was a washed and you thought maybe like a carbonic maceration. So I'm really keen to hear what it actually is. And just I love seeing all the different approaches to it. So really great. So far, um, everyone's gone Ethiopian. Yeah, it, it, it could be completely off, but uh, I know. But yeah, it'll be super interesting to see what the reveal is. On, uh, on your extraction there, while we're talking about espresso, you gave us in your recipe a 2.6 second pre-infusion that you wanted specifically for your shots. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit about how you came to that pre-infusion number? Yes, so we started with a five second pre-infusion and we wanted to, because our, our base model for start dialing in any coffees is 22 and a half at a five second pre-infusion, but with ramp up as well. So we usually have like a two second or a 1.9 second ramp up and then coming down again. So we thought we'll start with the five second pre-infusion and we worked backwards at one second intervals to where we got to, and I'll explain a little bit more about how we dialed it in. But um, yeah, it was a different process to what we normally dial in because I think when we're dialing in a single origin, we're usually looking to do it in a black coffee as well as being useful in white coffee. Um, but this one we were specifically aiming for white, so we quickly worked out, oh, we can't bother cupping it, it's all in black because it's not going to um, translate to milk. Congratulations to whoever wins, because you did a fantastic job, they were all brilliant tasting coffees. But if you want to pop by and see the team, our amazing team here, we're at Arana Hills, so check out Grounds of Origin in Arana Hills in Brisbane. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Whoever did number A, you deserve all the credit for me. That was my perfect flavour. I loved that flavour. Tell us who the winner of the Roasters Jam People's Choice Award is. Let's give you a microphone. <laughs> Big round of applause for the winner when we announce it. All right, well, I'm here with the eventual champions, Fire and Marty from Sunshine Coast Coffee Roastery. Congratulations, guys, you did an amazing job. Tell me a little bit, what was your experience like? Getting this, have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, first time. Yeah, first time? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And same. Would you do it again? Like, yeah. did you enjoy 100%. the process? Yeah. 100%. This is yeah. very exciting. Very um, nervous going into it because it's the first time, but yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling good now. It's so little time as well. <laughs> Actually, it's not really little, but because we're just so busy yeah. with the main job and this is yeah. like a side. Yeah. Hustle. <laughs> and you beat all the other roasters. It's like crazy. You just took us out. Yeah. But yeah, congratulations. Thank the you. Um, how did you find? Like, I, I ended up voting for your one. But it was the best one. But interestingly, when I ran it on my Seneso, that was the profile that I had extracted, and that was so close. That and I had one this afternoon just to double check it. And when I came out here, I was like, it was either A or C. But I ended up going with A because C had a little bit too much of the acidity, fruity acidity. And I was like, well, that's not what I had aimed for, and that's not what I tasted this afternoon, so I thought I was pretty close. Yeah. But how did you find it compared to what you guys trialled and your machines and at your place? Well, we actually cupped it with milk the other day, so we've yeah. never done that before. We've never, never done a cupping with milk. Yeah. We, we find thought, it a bit weird, yeah? Yeah, we thought, we thought it was a mistake. We had to check with the guys, but they said, no, no. So, yeah. oh, okay, we'll do that. Yeah. So we sort of made of a latte, mm -hmm. and then we had to sort of scoop the froth away. <laughs> Get it's a teamwork it. just to hold but the yeah, broth. It's pretty much what we tasted at work, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we got your. So you knew yours straight away, and exactly. you went like that. Yeah. That's yeah. Really tastes like that's got to be. Yeah. Because like, yeah. yeah. there were other ones that were quite distinctly different, yeah. and I knew every one I went through. I was like, that's not mine. That's not mine. That's mine. I got to see, and I was like, 
well, that could be mine, but it's a little bit acidic. And then I got to yours and I was like, oh, that's mine. And then I voted for that. But like, interesting how, yeah, we, you came to a similar profile. Mm. And even like, you can see the other guys, they did actually go for a different profile. Like they were trying different yeah. things. And to, cha to make that Ethiopian taste that really different like I was really impressed at everyone for doing it yeah. but obviously yeah the public opinion and I think like my wife she does not like yoga chef in milk like mm. she just doesn't drink it if it's mm. fruity coffee don't give it to her on mm. milk because she doesn't enjoy it yeah. and um, so I was a little bit hesitant bringing her here for the cupping because I thought oh she's going to hate them all <laughs> but um, but she also liked yours in the end as well because I think it was the most balanced and it wasn't too acidic and fruity it didn't taste like curdled milk and so for the public opinion I think that's why you took it out because for most people that is what they people don't really want that curdled fruity milk yeah. like milk milk yeah. juice with um, yeah juice with milk yeah. people don't want that they want that sort of nice balance that's more like coffee yeah. balanced coffee and I think that's why you took it out because public vote yeah. public 100%. opinion yeah. You got it. yeah so yeah. well thanks again congratulations Thank to you, you both so well Thank done you. all the best well I didn't win but I had a great time doing it and I love this whole experiment. I'm really keen to enter again. If you guys wanna see me enter it again and try and go for gold, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Let's celebrate coffee in all forms and see what we can do, where it can go. I'm Ride, your coffee coach, and as always, enjoy your brew.